What does it mean by saying this is the last life, after this is moksha, freedom? Moksha means freedom or liberation. What is the bondage? Please understand that. What is the bondage in your life? Hmm? Body. What else? Huh? No, those are secondary. Only because you have a… you are attached to your body, you are attached to somebody. Please see that. If you are not attached to this body, you will not attach… you will not be attached to any body. It's not possible. Only because of your attachment to this body, you are getting attached to other bodies. You say my family, the only thing that you know actually about them is their body, please see. Because it's only from your attachment to your body that is happening. You know a little bit of their emotion and thought, but that is only in reflection of the body, please see. The fundamental is the body, isn't it? Isn't it so? The most fundamental is body, please see. Today, the deepest attachment between people come in man-woman relationship, isn't it? Why? Because of the body. Where bodies are touching has become the deepest attachment, isn't it? This is simply because right now people are existing as body. For them, truly opening up to somebody means opening up the body, nothing else. Because they cannot open up anywhere else. What else they can open? Huh? Not really, mind is never open. People are talking about open mind, there is no such thing. Mo mind is a closed end always. They believe it's open for comfort's sake. Tell me how will you open your mind? Tell me how will you open your mind? Hmm? How will you become silent? <laughs> no. No, these are all ways of really closing your mind. The people who believe they are very honest, very sincere, please see they are very closed in many ways, the so-called good people. They believe they are very open. They, s they always claim I am an open book. The thing is, everything that they know they are open to others. They don't know much about themselves. They have not even opened the book to themselves. How can they open it to somebody else? They have not even admitted fundamental facts about life with themselves. Whatever they have seen, they have admitted to other people, but they have not even admitted to themselves. They can't believe. When life really puts them in turmoil and they act in certain ways, good people are always shocked with themselves. The so-called bad person who is out on the street, he has admitted it to himself, okay? All the nonsense that he is, he's admitted to himself. He is not stupid enough to admit it to somebody else. <laughs> he is careful about that. But the good person has not even admitted it to himself, his own problems, his own limitations. So he thinks he's an open book. The book is not even open to him. Where is the question of opening it to somebody? There is no such thing as open mind because mind is a closed possibility. It is an accumulation, isn't it? What are you going to open in this? What are you going to open in this? What is there to see anyway? You have, in, uh, you have attached an enormous amount of importance to your mind, I know. But please look at it sincerely. What is there in your mind apart from what you gathered from outside? What is there in your mind? Why should I look into your mind? I can look around the world and I know what is there. Why should I look through the distortion of your mind? Isn't it? Huh? Tell me, tell me one new idea. <laughs> no, you're very mistaken. Electricity, electricity was always there in your body, every moment. Your body doesn't move a limb without electricity. One heart do beat does not happen without electricity. If you had just looked in, you would know electricity very easily, okay? You're talking about internet. Internet has always been there. For example, I'm completely uneducated, if you ask me, spiritually. I have never read anything. I've kept myself away from all scriptures always. 
but never have I been ever put into a situation where I have to think what to do, I always know what to do. Because there is an internet of its own. If you are open, it's always available. The internet was always there, only now you are, you know, transmitting other kind of information on your internet. Otherwise internet has always been there, much bigger than the net that you have. Everything that's worth knowing is right here. It's… it's all there. You only just observed something and put it in a different application, that's all, isn't it? Your internet is not even bigger than your brain, isn't it so? Yes or no? So it is just a small replica of this, isn't it? Just a different application for what was already there. Tell me what is one new idea you've had? Everything that creation has, you are just imitating in small ways, that's all, isn't it? Yes or no? What is there in creation, you are just imitating in little, little ways. It's fine, it's good you are doing it, but don't think you invented, you know, created something new, no. You are just finding different applications for what was already there. <laughs>